Yesterday, during the Star Wars celebration, we had some massive Star Wars news. Kathleen Kennedy, the president of Lucasfilm, announced three new films. We break down all we know about these films so far. Firstly, we have the Rey sequel, set to star Daisy Ridley, as she returns as Rey Palpatine. Sorry, Rey Skywalker. Hmm. The film has Rey rebuilding the Jedi Order, set 15 years after the events of Rise of Skywalker. This was initially being written by Damon Lindelof, the producer of Watchmen and executive producer of Lost, and a few other J.J. Abrams projects, such as Star Trek Into Darkness. Justin Britt Gibson also left the initial writing team earlier this year, and now we find out that Charmaine Obeyed Shinoi, one of the directors of the recent Marvel shows Miss Marvel, will be directing the Ray movie. It's certainly the most controversial of the three films announced, and many have already drawn parallels to how Luke Skywalker struggled to establish a Jedi Order post-Return of the Jedi. Rey might face the same difficulties that Luke did, or perhaps she will be the one to establish a Jedi Order after Luke failed to do so. The Rey sequel takes place 15 years after the rise of Skywalker, most likely meaning that we will see the new, New Republic, establish a foothold in the galaxy after the First Order has been destroyed. There is no confirmation whether anyone else from the sequel trilogy, such as John Boyega or Oscar Isaac, will return. Next up we have James Mangold, the producer of Wolverine and Logan, the much-loved 2017 film, as well as Ford vs Ferrari. He is also the director of the upcoming Indiana Jones film, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. It seems that whilst working with Kennedy and Lucasfilm on Indiana Jones, they loved his directing so much that he was given a Star Wars film to work on. Mangold's film will take place 25,000 years before the Skywalker timeline, telling the tale of the first Jedi to wield the Force, and the establishment of the first Jedi Order. Mangold has described the film as a biblical epic that will look at the origins of the Force. Originally back in 2019, the Game of Thrones producing team, David Benioff and D.B. Wise, were due to produce an Old Republic trilogy, which also focused on the origins of the Jedi and the Force, but this never got past a pre-production stage. So you would imagine that the early work Benioff and Wise did for their trilogy has been recycled, or at least partly inspired, James Mangold's film. As with all three announced movies, Kennedy said that initially these films are standalone, but depending on how the movies are received, and how much money they make, there may be further films. This cautious approach is perhaps Kennedy learning from the PR mistake of announcing Ryan Johnson's trilogy before his first film The Last Jedi was even released. Last up, we have Dave Filoni's film, which will close out the interconnected stories from the Disney Plus TV shows, The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett, and Ahsoka. Filoni has moved from working under George Lucas on the Clone Wars animated movie, and then the Clone Wars TV shows, to creating his own shows, Star Wars Rebels, The Bad Batch, and Tales of the Jedi. And over the last few years, he has directed live-action episodes of The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett. And his live-action series, Ahsoka, is set to air in August 2023. So I think that many Star Wars fans will be happy for Filoni, and his journey with Lucasfilm culminating with his own Star Wars movie. Filoni's film will act as the ending to all the Star Wars Disney Plus shows, which is something that has been speculated and teased over the last few years. We can assume that fan favourite characters such as Grogu, Mando and Ahsoka will make their big screen debut, so that's very exciting. As we know with Star Wars films that are announced under the leadership of Kathleen Kennedy, these films are at high risk of never making it to theatres. So around 12 announced films have been cancelled in a post-George Lucas Disney era of Star Wars. But assuming these movies do complete production, most likely they are at least two to three years away, meaning we will have had a gap of around seven years between the last Star Wars film, The Rise of Skywalker, and one of these announced films. I'd say the film I'm most excited for is a Mandoverse Filoni film, as it will be incredible to see the characters we've seen over the last few years on Disney Plus appear on the big screen, as they have been built up through hours of episodes and will be even more fleshed out when the movie arrives. Anyway, what are your thoughts on these new Star Wars films? Are you excited by any or all of these? Is the utilisation of different time periods in the Star Wars timeline a good use of the expansive Star Wars galaxy, or are Star Wars now too confusing and overly saturated? What do you think? We cover movie and Star Wars news every week, as well as video essays. 
So if you found this video interesting, please consider subscribing to Film Club. Thank you, and see you again.